Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the throne room Tuesday where basically I put something in the throne room soliciting your prayers. And so basically today I wanted to kind of turn the tides a little bit. Not that I don't want prayer, don't need prayer and I'm arrived, but I thought I would just turn the tides just a little bit to talk about like three hard things or times to pray. Um, you know, I find that in these predicaments right here, that, um, it's a, it could be, it could be a very trying time. Okay. Um, God deserves all our praise, all of our worship and all that. And we should never, ever, um, uh, succumb to a time where we're not giving glory and honor to God in every situation. The Bible says that we should pray without ceasing and we should give thanks for everything because this is the will of God concerning us. And I understand that a little bit because it's like, when we give thanks for everything, I think that pisses Satan off because his main ideal is to discourage us, you know, and even woo, woo us to the point to where we are away from God. Okay. So these are some very quiet, trying trying times here that I'm going to talk about that I have been that I have just found myself frozen you know as far as like our I think it's our central nervous system um the flight and flight syndromes there are some times where I have actually froze because of certain situations so okay so to find out what they are, you have to stand by. So welcome everyone, everyone, including my secret viewers, um, my silent viewers, those that uh, keep coming back, um, my newcomers, once those of you that are here for the first time, and my 142 subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're going to deal with prayer. Um, you know that God had, Jesus has opened this great, um, opportunity for us that we can pray to God, you know, as a result of his sacrifice, it opened a storehouse of heaven whereby we can not just pray to God, but we also have an opportunity to go to, go to heaven one day when Christ comes back to get his people dead or alive, you're going to wake them up, you know, so prayer is that link. Or that connection between us and God. We can always pray. So, okay. So, I was reading in the Bible and it was talking about basically the responsibility of the unmarried man and the married man. The unmarried woman and the married woman. Well, I'm not married. Okay. So, therefore, I'm going to lean to the side of the unmarried woman and the unmarried man. And basically, what it says is that the unmarried care about the things of God and how to please God and how they can be holy. Okay. Um, and that can be found in first Corinthians, the seventh chapter verses 32, 33 and 34. And so basically Christ is, or God is our husband. And, and I love it because if we can learn to please God, and we have God in his rightful place in our lives, it won't be hard to please a human being because we can stand up, we can be strong, we can be confident, and we won't be fearful because of us, of our connection with God. So, okay, so let's get to the three things. But before I do, give me some thumbs up if you think that this is the kind of thing that you may like. Give me some thumbs up, okay? And remember to share everywhere with everyone on all social media platform, including your friends and your family, even your enemies, okay? Um, and cover subscription as you share and remember to subscribe yourself. And remember that on the side of the air, um, on the side of the title is an arrow. You can get the description. It's like some information that, extra information that I didn't put in. Or you can make a comment. Make a comment. Let me know what you think, what you feel, you know, something that you may want me to cover. Just kind of scroll all the way down and behind, behind, down under the title and, and make a comment. And remember, I'm selling my vegan food. Um, it's a fundraiser to keep the nonprofit going. 
you might want to support that because it's to help people to overcome anything. It makes me able to do what I do. Okay. So please consider that. Um, the cash app is there to pay for it. Hit me up on messenger. Okay. So, sorry, three hard things. You know, um, I've been doing some research and one of the things that I have researched is basically how foods and all that, uh, affect human beings like from animals and vegetables and stuff like that okay and so i'm learning basically that um sometimes things are affected us in our environment and also in our dna that we don't know that we're affected by this but yet we respond to it okay um but i'm gonna put that on the back burner first and i'm gonna talk about this um, times that we are offended. Now, most of us know what we're supposed to do when we are offended. The Bible says that we should pray for those that use us and abuse us, despitefully use us and abuse us. Okay. And so basically Jesus gave us a real good demonstration of that, you know, so basically when Jesus was being, you know, beaten and, you know, all those kind of things, tormented, persecuted, you know, basically he kept his connection always with God. See, the devil would have us to spaz out, you know, act a fool and lose our connection with God. But see, Jesus kept his connection with God and he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Herein is perfection. That's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. He didn't get upset. He realized that they don't, they have no idea what they're doing. Okay. And that could have been some of us. I knew that it was me at time persecuting Jews. Cause when I first, before I became a Christian, I'm like, who's Jesus? Hey, you know, I should bow down and worship him. Found out he deserves it. Okay. So, um, another unknown, another time where it's hard to pray is that I have had times in emergencies in my family. And I have to say in my family and friend pool, people that's close to me where I was just like totally frozen you know and this kind of reminds me of job's friends when they came to see him they knew that job was a good man they was like you know you had to have done something to god you know for this to be happening to you you know but however god intervened in behalf of of job and so god basically brought job to a higher level in him Okay, so before I answer that one, let me go to the next one, which is number two that I started. The unknown. Sometimes in dealing with our children, grown or not, sometimes you know that they deal they they dealing with a wrong mindset or either like things that are untrue and you know they're deceived or whatever by the way that they behave. If they behave to us in an adverse way and they find us, we find ourselves in a place where what that we totally don't know and i like what peter did when peter was in an unknown situation remember when he asked jesus can he walk on the water just call him out and he did but when he took his eyes off of jesus he began to sink and so basically when young people come at us sometimes in a negative way and especially when it's not true and we are uh accused of something and their behavior could be covert or it could be over, but we still know ain't something right. We can call on Jesus and say, Lord, help us. And Peter said, Lord, save us. Because sometimes when kids come, they're angry. And sometimes they will fight. There has been parents that has been killed by their young people. You know, and so even though Satan can kill the body, Jesus can kill the soul. So we're still safe as God's people. You know, um, we call on him for help. All right. And so basically in this other one, you know, it talks about the spirit of God making like groanings that, that cannot be uttered. Okay. That, that God knows it's like they take if our moanings and our groanings and, you know, the Holy spirit is in the middle of us and God and intercedes for 
on in our behalf. You ever found yourself frozen when it was dealing with somebody else's love? Well, you can get in there and you can pray and, you know, have a song in your heart and express it and you can uplift the whole family. But then when it comes to your own family and friend pool that's close to you, you find yourself frozen. No need to worry. God has made a way for that because that intersection, interceding of the Holy Ghost, okay, it's just wonderful. So pray for me that when I have to address these types of things, that I will remember to pray without ceasing. And I will remember that, you know, to give God glory and honor in every situation and to know that he's made a way for me to deal with these things in a way that is not offensive to him. I love you. This is all I have for you. Now that to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. I love you. This is all I have for you. I wore this shirt because I was talking about prayer. This is our prayer line shirt, the Mason and Wheeler family prayer line shirt. But it says, I pray with my family, do you? So let us. You know, especially pray for those own unknown lies and stuff that our children are dealing with. Let us remember to pray for them. You know, God knows. We may not know. They may not know. But God knows. So let us pray for us. Okay. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.